Yeah. Yes, sir. We officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with an update. Just a friendly reminder here to check out some of the reviews I put up as of late. Please go back and check out the Max Factory Figma Bato review from Ghost in the Shell. I also reviewed the Tri Sentinel Builder Figure Wave Wolverine figure. I took a look at the Marvel Legends Deluxe Box Set Venom, and just yesterday I put up a review for the Marvel Legends Hawkeye and Old Man Logan 2-pack. And just a note that I'm putting in a lot of TLC in these videos, trying to make them as thorough and as entertaining as possible. For every 10 minutes of video, that's probably about seven or eight hours of editing. And all I want in return is for you guys to put a like on the video, get the visibility of the video high, and comment. Let's talk about it in the comments below, that's all. Just wanna keep the content fresh and engaging. And as long as I continue to have fun doing this, then I'ma keep doing it. I've also been continuing to catch up on my comic book reading. I'm currently reading Old Man Hawkeye. Didn't even realize the Old Man Hawkeye had a solo book. I had no idea prior to the review that I put up, but I did make a few little annotations in that video to say that, you know, I started reading it and that's why Hawkeye's look was so unique because it was based on the solo book. But yeah, I've been checking that out. Nowhere near as good as Old Man Logan, but definitely worth a read. Interesting, entertaining. I also been reading The King in Black, come back with my synopsis on that later, and reading the 2016 solo Old Man Logan story as well, hoping to get some insight on Baby Bruce, Maestro Hulk, which we're going to be getting soon from Marvel Legends, and I'm also still doing my second read of the House and Powers of Ten storyline, those initial first 12 issues. I finally got through the full Snyder cut of the Justice League, all four hours. It was interesting. Uh, I enjoyed it definitely much better than the Joss Whedon cut more complete but like I said there was a lot of fucking slow motion no question about that but it was entertaining also checked out the first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier I enjoyed that as well and even though the episode was extended a bit it was almost an hour it still felt kind of short still felt like it went by fast but obviously we'll be talking about these programs the Snyder cut and the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier show on the next podcast i'm looking forward to diving into those deeper oh man i actually peeped that the acba tag on instagram reached 1 million posts so that's a crazy milestone that is dope please continue to keep tagging acba and articulated comic book art on instagram and we will continue to find your shots and if they are clean crop and contain if they're crispy then we're going to continue to feature them you should also come join us in the acba facebook group because that's where the majority of our features actually originate join our other groups on facebook dial structure the grind plastic and paint and let's continue to keep elevating the nerd sport of sorts that is toy photography and ACBA. Let's keep making each other better by sharing tips, tricks, and tactics and giving honest feedback and critique. That has been the name of the game. That's what I've been advocating and promoting since the very first video that I put up on YouTube. And I just wanna see people continue to love this, have fun with this, and continue to push the toy industry in the right direction. And a friendly reminder that Hasbro's Fan Fest is going to be live on Friday, April 9th, 2021. The clock is still ticking on the Hasbro Pulse website. And just yesterday, Hasbro sent out an email alluding to some big news even before FanFest begins. The email read, Hey there, we know Mondays are rough, but we've got some good news. We have an epic drop happening tomorrow. I repeat, epic. Hasbro Pulse Premium members will receive early access from 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Want in on early access and other awesome perks? Join the club. So obviously that was a little solicit for you to get out there and become a Hasbro Pulse Premium member, which is 50 bucks. And in just in a few hours here, we're gonna find out what this epic drop is. And with the magic of editing, it'll be in this video and it'll just be a few seconds for you. And 
just like that, the epic, happy, sad. We all thought, <laughs> at least I did, I thought we were going to get some type of cool Marvel Legend or Star Wars Black Series reveal or maybe even Lightning Collection. But instead, we got the animatronic Ultimate Edition, the Mandalorian Galactic Snacking Grogu. So that's definitely a no for me, dog. But if you are interested in this, there will be a link in the description below. This is going to cost you about 80 bucks, slated to release in October of 2021. It is actually a cool little figure, but you know, obviously nothing that you guys will probably be interested in. And I guess we're going to have to hold out a bit longer until the 9th for some of the reveals that we want to see. So on that note, <laughs> I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that bell down there and until next time peace now that's how we ride i'm from the g side haul them up town on the east side my man i'm three fly so ain't no issue i'm official tissue